Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm very excited about the unboxing that we're going to do today for a few different reasons. Number one, we have an item that came to me from Italy, Palermo, Italy to be exact. Number two, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about the item that's inside. Let me explain a little bit more. Last year, I purchased the CLZ comic book app, which has been fantastic for cataloging my collection, letting me know what I have and what I need. And in getting that app, I started discovering mostly foreign comic books that I didn't know existed. Today's book fits that example. Curiosity got the best of me, and I made a purchase through eBay Italy, and the book has arrived. First of all, it only took two weeks, 14 days, for it to arrive from Palermo, Italy to me here in the U.S. Not bad at all, I don't think. My package arrived right before I had to leave for work today. So I've been anxiously awaiting to get the curiosity out of me to find out exactly the contents of this package. So let's open it up without further ado, as they say. Seller's done a good job of keeping it secure. It's traveled, you know, halfway around the world. Interesting. Not at all what I was expecting. I'm assuming this is the back cover of the book. It is. There we have the front cover. Let's get rid of this cardboard. This is the Italian book Wonder Woman number zero. Now, I don't know a whole lot about this book except for it was distributed by Lion, which I believe Lion is a company that owns the license for DC comic books to reprint them in different countries. I know it's the Italian version, Wonder Woman number zero, and it came out in 2012. What's interesting is it's at least the cover image is from a 1981 story. So we're going to open it up in just a moment. That comic book in the U.S. was DC Comics Presents number 41, Superman and the Joker. And if you zoom in, you'll see that there's a free little mini Wonder Woman comic book inside. This comic book's very significant for a few different reasons, at least the story inside. It is the issue that debuts Wonder Woman's emblem change, where she went from the eagle to the double W. It also introduced a new creative team of Gene Colan and Roy Thomas. So the story in DC Comics Presents 41 from September of 1981 takes place between Wonder Woman Volume 1, number 287, and number 288. So here we have the interior from the U.S. And then it's been reproduced as the cover for this book, which we're going to open up the Italian version in just a minute. It's interesting, you see that the logo here was the modern logo for Wonder Woman. That was a new logo that they introduced at the time with the double W. All right, I can't wait anymore. Let's see exactly what's inside this book. I bought this on eBay from eBay Italy. It was 23 US dollars, which included shipping. Not too bad. Pages are, or the book feels much thicker than a normal comic book. Oh, interesting.
Ah, so there, where they've reproduced it, it has the original logo. Of course, it's not in English, which I expected it not to be. So it is the, the mini story, including the panel there where Wonder Woman is presented with her new logo on the outfit. And her first appearance of wearing it. Let's see what else is in this book. It looks like it has a biography on Jean Colon, an advertisement. That is from the original DC Comics Presents 41, too, so that was reproduced. Um, looks like an interesting article on Wonder Woman. Uh, we have uh, some more Wonder Woman stories reproduced. some advertisements here for other lion issues. I kind of think that the uh, foreign comic books are pretty neat overall. Someday we'll do a video showing off some of my uh, foreign edition Wonder Woman comic books that I have. I believe all of the comic books that I have from another country are Wonder Woman oriented ones. Um, it definitely has fulfilled my curiosity. I'm very happy to have it. I've always enjoyed this image that they used on the cover. I think it's an interesting story to uh, reprint so many years afterwards. Like I said, 1981 when it was originally published and then here in 2012 I don't know if this is a reprint or if it's the first time it ever was available in Italy. If you know any of these answers or if you have any details about this comic book or any other Lion comic books or maybe just uh, foreign edition comic books in general, feel free to leave a comment below. So curiosity has been met. I'm very happy with the purchase. It's something that I'll cherish having. It's a little bit different. Love the cover. I, I mostly bought it for the cover. Um, and I'm, I'm very happy with my purchase. Coming up in future videos on this channel, we are going to look at the more recent Mego Wonder Woman releases that have been done. And also we're going to look at some of my comic book back issues that I've acquired at a recent convention and on eBay. So those are some upcoming videos as well. And I should mention too that we have something else on the way too. Um, a, fr a great friend in Brazil has an item coming to me too that I'll be excited to share with you in a future video update as well. As I said, your comments are always welcome. You can click the subscribe button as well as another way to show support for this channel. If you'd like to be notified when there's new content on this channel, make sure to click the bell. Doing any of these things would be, as I always say, wonderful. Thanks for joining me today.